Uh, I was grade three, so I was very young. I was very excited to grab Schnei and learn how to fight, but my sensei said, you're not ready yet. I didn't get to uh, grab Schnei for six months. My name's Kyle Lee, and uh, I'm a Kendo instructor at Shinryu Kendo Dojo. I have been practicing Kendo over 20 years, and I started Kendo since when I was eight years old. And eventually I made the national team in 2009. Um, I went to Brazil for represent Canada for 14th World Championship. For my past experience from uh, teaching Kendo in Canada, um, remember all these uh, Hollywood movies like Star Wars, uh, Last Samurai, and movies like that uh, triggers people uh, interest in Kendo, right? It's uh, sword fighting. But when you come to Kendo, there's slightly bit different. Um, um, of course, there is a definitely exciting fighting style that you, need, you get to learn. But more importantly, when you come to a Kendo class, you learn to respect other people and uh, learn proper etiquette and learn to discipline and um, be passionate about what you do and learn to be humble. So those are the main stuff that you you be expect to learn. Um, and then once those disciplines are learned, then we're moving into practical side of Kendo, which is uh, practicing with the Shinai and Bokdo and learn about different skill sets and drills and moving on to fighting style. And in that process, you fully understand the, the whole spectrum of Kendo. So when you come to Kendo practice, what you do is uh, you do Zokin, um, which is uh, just a piece of mop and cleaning dojo. It's the very first step uh, to start Kendo. Right? From there, um, you learn to respect um, your place where you practice and uh, appreciate all these small things. And from there, you uh, move on to next level. So those are things that I teach and those are uh, things that our students expect to learn. Um, and that applies to real life. Um, uh, the, the reason that I do Kendo the most is that um, it's not just uh, competitions or exciting fighting style, but it's uh, Kendo means the way of the sword in Japanese. That means um, whatever you do in dojo, you learn. Um, that's all manners and etiquettes that applies to your daily life. So that's the, one of the biggest benefit of Kendo. So that's what I emphasize to my students. What distinguish from uh, just regular fighting and uh, kendo is that kendo is a martial art, right? And uh, um, in kendo, there's uh, such thing as ki, and ken, and tai chi. So ki means uh, your uh, uh, inner spiritual power. Okay? So everybody have uh, uh, their uh, spiritual power inside your, your body. Um, in kendo class, we called it ki ai, which means uh, spring out your inner spiritual strength and Ken is uh, your sword um, in uh, these days it's a uh, it's called Shinai you're at a bamboo stick um, and Tai is the uh, body right and how you move your body and in Kendo Ki and Ken and Tai has to synchronize to make a perfect cut right and that's where the most efficient and powerful cut coming from and that's we press towards the synchronization of ki ken tai um, to develop your physical and mental strengths in order for you to improve in kendo you need to improve your ki in order to learn ken and tai part and eventually that will synchronize and when you are when you can synchronize ki ken tai then you're going to move into next step. Um, those three instances are all important, but when uh, students come to practice first time, right? Uh, of course, they haven't learned uh, the can part, which is the sword um, uh, and tie how to move your body, right? But everybody, I believe that everybody, even if you don't practice kendo, they have uh, their own key. Um, it's like um, Japanese comic like Dragon Ball or um, uh, I guess in Star Wars uh, it says Force, right? 
um, I believe everybody has the force, right? But they just don't know it. And my job is that since everybody have their spiritual strength, uh, my job is to pour that strength, spiritual strength, and definitely that's the the most uh, important um, out of ki and tai chi. And uh, having strong ki will let you um, improve and going to further steps of kendo, such as like um, how to uh, cut through or how to use your body, right? That all comes from um, strong ki. When you come to kendo class for the first time, um, there's not much thing you need. Um, only thing you need is uh, um, really to learn attitude, right? And be humble. Most of the people uh, think that I need to buy gears and you know, like um, uh, shinai and other stuff. But um, when you come to kendo practice for the first time, you're just coming as a training suit and you learn to uh, improve your ki. So um, willing to learn and be humble, that's the only thing that you need uh, to bring to kendo class for the first time.